So when you're going in, you know, instead of having a win-lose, I want to gain and the other party, we want to have a win-win. That's PMI's new mindset, I would say. They've always had it, but it's coming to the surface now. All right. We're on Chapter 9 now, Reina. Are you finding Chapter 9? Chapter 9, fantastic. So collaborate with stakeholders. So evaluate the engagement needs of stakeholders. How can I best engage them? So you've got a stakeholder that doesn't show up for meetings. What do you do? Give me some tips. Or you've got a stakeholder. I usually instant message them and say, are you coming to this meeting? Nice. Or sometimes I'll be proactive and say, hey, we've got a meeting in 20 minutes. Here's some pieces that we're going to talk about, whether it's mm. a formal agenda. Or that is a great technique. So give them a heads up and mm -hmm. maybe they would even forgotten, but they're going to get in. Oh. And they're going to show up. They're going to show up and say, oh, I, yeah, I, I knew we had to meet. No, they forgot. You helped them. <laughs> you helped them. So that's a great tip. That's a great tip for project managers listening. Send reminders. Because a lot of times people don't mean ill intent. They just forgot with all the crazy work we've got. You know, a recent survey showed that the program and project management community are the most burnt out in the workspace. And I can't believe that. I can't believe it because some people are on 10, 15, 20. I had a student that was on almost 80 projects. And she said, well, I just come in and initiate it and I move on. But it's still a lot of projects, 80 at one go. So in this world of collaborating with stakeholders, we got to cut in some slack. we got to understand people are stretched thin. And we got to find a way to engage them properly.